Hey Pete here. I'm just playing with my new toy that I uh, got the other day. It's these one of these still combi systems. But I want to tell you a story because I tried to buy locally because I really it's really important because if you can buy locally, it's really good. So I went to a couple of stores near where I live uh, and uh, spoke with the guys in the shop and just had a look at it. Uh, and the system was really good. Now the thing is, I noticed in the shop that the system, or this uh, uh, this actual system here, was. 308 pound versus 258 online and I'm a little bit weary about buying online that's why I went to the store so anyway um, I was talking with uh, one of the guys in the shop and I said look uh, uh, I really like the system I'd like to buy locally it's a little bit more expensive than what I see online can you do anything about it immediately he came back and he said uh, you've been speaking to so and so it doesn't matter the name I said well uh, no, I haven't actually. I've actually been talking with, uh, or looking online and seeing Britannia Tools. And uh, I'm wondering if there's anything you can do. And he said, nope, there's nothing. Now I'm trying to talk to him about value because I don't mind paying a little bit more uh, if I'm going to receive some value or there's going to be some service. So I'm trying to give this guy the opportunity um, to maybe do a little bit of uh, uh, on the price. But he just he just closed down totally. He said, no, nope, can't do anything about it. And I thought, wow, we there's a whole lot of money walking out the door here because not only is it this system here, it's all the extra extras that go with it. There's about uh, twelve to fifteen hundred pound that uh, uh, he could have made. So anyway, couldn't do anything. So I walked out the door. So I went back and I rang Britannia Tools. Now I spoke with a guy, Dean, and Dean was amazing. He was right up front. He said, look. Um, yes, we can give it to you online, we can post it out free of charge. If anything happens, uh, send it back to us, we'll look after it, uh, we'll do what we need to do. And I thought, wow, this is just, this is actually quite amazing. He actually put my mind at rest that if I was to buy online, I should be okay. But I'm fairly tactile, so I actually like to see what these things are like. And uh, I said to Dean, I rang him a couple of weeks later, and I said, look, I'm coming to Dartford, um, I'm going to come across to Croydon. Now here's the thing about it. I live in Faversham and I was prepared to drive up to Croydon which is about an hour and a half, two hour drive there and back just to look at this machine because of the value I'd received on the phone call. So anyway, I said to him I'll be there at uh, 4.30 in the afternoon and I'll tell you when I got there, um, Dean came out, introduced himself, said yeah I've got the machine out the back for you, come and have a look. So he took me out the back and showed me with the machine and put on the, uh, uh, the brush cutter which I also need as well, that's what I was looking at. So, uh, he, uh, and really interesting that the very first brush cutter that he uh, put on, it didn't sound right, allegedly. I couldn't hear anything wrong with it, but he said, no, no, that doesn't sound right. So he took that one off and put this one on. It sounded right, he said, no, no, good as gold. So he said, this is how it works, this is uh, uh, what it can do, uh, what do you think? And I said, yeah, it's good. And then, what I really liked, he then upsold me because what he did is he said, "Oh, by the way, have you seen uh, have you seen the new uh, trimmers here? And this is a brand new one. And whereas you used to have to take the head off and try and wrap the uh, string around it, now you just feed the string in and twist it around. It's been the technology's great and also a blower. So he put these out for me to have a look at, and I thought I smiled because I thought this is an upsell. But what a great opportunity because what Dean was doing." He was giving me the opportunity to say no, but I could say yes. So by this stage, as I said, it was about 4.30 when I got there, and they closed at five o'clock. But we'd be going through this, and it was about, about 10 past five. Now Dean, at no stage, said, hey look, we're uh, closing now, I need to get you on. He just stayed with me as we looked at these, and we put the blower on, and we put the, uh, uh, the trimmer on, and it seemed to work. And I thought, blink of heck. So what actually happened, as I said yes to him, I said, yeah, I'll take the blower and the trimmer as well. Now, interestingly enough, that was a 46% increase on what I was going to buy originally. What a great upsell. And uh, Dean, you know, your employee needs to know what a great job you did there because they came in for one thing and you actually upsold me really nicely. That's the, a real sales art. It's a really good sales technique and I had no issue with that at all. So the whole thing is I went up there, I got value. Only for the fact also, not only did I see the machine working, as I said, the first trimmer didn't work. I thought it sounded all right. Dean didn't hear that. He heard something different. So he changed it. That in itself is worth the value of going somewhere out or to going and seeing it as opposed to buying it online. So I tried to buy locally, but after being rebuffed by the local guys, I went to Croydon, that 
two hour journey up and back again and I received real value. Now the thing is I was prepared to pay more um, if necessary but Dean gave me a really good deal and that's why I bought extra. Now here's the thing is it's the future value of money as well because what's going to happen when I need to buy another piece of this like the pole pruner which I'm going to do guess where I'm going to go to? I'm going to go and see Britannia Tools, I'm going to talk with Dean again. All right? When I need some maintenance done guess where I'm going to go to? I'm going to go and see Dean um, at Britannia Tools for the simple fact that I now trust him and know that he's got my best uh, uh, my best or his best thoughts my best thoughts uh, in his heart for me to uh, uh, get some real value on that so I just wanted to share that with you because uh, I was really impressed Dean Britannia Tools you did an amazing job and your boss should be really impressed because a 46% uh, upsell is pretty good as well so it's not only about the price it's about value and I wasn't going to shop on price although we did do it competitively but I was prepared to pay more if I could receive value I actually got a really good price with Dean and I actually got a really good value so of course why would I go anywhere else and it's a really good lesson for employees and employers give your customers value it's not about the price it's about the value you can give and invariably people will come and pay more if they perceive value and you're trustworthy and they believe in you so there we go I'm gonna go back and have a play with my machine because uh, it's pretty good fun